guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be setting up my bullet journal for 2021. This is my second year bullet journaling and I'll be using the Forest Night Journal from Archer and Olive. I absolutely love this one. I went with the A5 192 page version. It comes with a pen holder and a pocket at the back. The pages are bright white, buttery smooth, and super thick. The dots are nice and small and fairly light so they're barely visible once you've set up a spread. Getting right into it, starting with the first page, just below my name, I'm writing, let's try this again. 2020 was a pretty tough year for most people, so I think it's safe to say we're all looking forward to a fresh start in 2021. I will link all of the stationery used in this video, including the notebook, down in the description box below. Next, I'm doing a quote page which says, I didn't come this far to only come this far. 2020 was a great year for me to reflect on my accomplishments and strive to reach new heights. And I think this quote sums that up really nicely. Next is my grid spacing cheat sheet, which I found extremely useful. I even used it while setting up a lot of the spreads in this video. You just break the page down into sections like halves and thirds, counting out the number of grid spaces required to do so, and then you can reference this page when setting up future spreads so you don't have to figure it out from scratch every time. It's best to do this on the left hand side so that it'll be easier to flip back to. The next spread is my key. In previous years, I've struggled with having a consistent system for separating work from personal tasks. So this year I created a key to hopefully keep things more organized. I recently discovered Posca paint pens. They're perfect for covering mistakes. Speaking of mistakes, isn't accidentally bending a page the absolute worst? The next spread is my word of the year. This is how I set an intention for the year ahead, and I keep this word in the back of my mind throughout the year. In 2019, my word of the year was venture. I traveled as much as possible and ventured into unknown territory starting a YouTube channel. 2021 will be all about growth, both as a person and creatively. My theme for this yearly setup is minimalist spreads with gold accents and the occasional decorative sticker or drawing. The yearly spread is always one of my favorites to set up. It's super time consuming and I usually end up with a hand cramp, but it always comes out looking amazing and I find the repetitiveness to be almost therapeutic. I also only messed up twice, which is pretty impressive if I do so so myself.
Next is my future log. I mixed things up this time around and went with a vertical layout instead of the horizontal one I used in my last journal. The next spread is my favorite so far, my goals for 2021. I went all out with the decoration for this one and went for a less organized layout. I like to divide my goals into categories. This year I'm setting goals in fitness, career, personal, finance, YouTube, and travel. We'll see if I actually get to use that one. I did forget to include the by this time next year section, so I might be repurposing the travel section for that. I also included a motivational quote to help me stick to my goals. A dream written with a date becomes a goal, broken down into steps becomes a plan, and a plan backed by action makes your dreams come true. The next few spreads I'll be using for my YouTube channel, but they could be repurposed to work for other things as well. This one is my video ideas spread where I'll jot down ideas for future videos. I've broken it down into categories, which will probably be Invisalign, bullet journaling, gaming, etc. If you don't have a YouTube channel, this spread could also be used to brainstorm theme ideas for your bullet journal. The next two spreads are my milestones and growth trackers. I started posting consistently on YouTube almost a year ago, and I'm so proud of how much my channel has grown since then. I'll be using these spreads to motivate myself to stay consistent for my subscribers and to track my growth. My subscriber goal for 2021 is 1K, but I've left some empty boxes just in case. As I hit each milestone, I'll color in the corresponding box, and I also included a milestone section for Instagram. I plan to make monthly videos on my YouTube channel and post pictures of new and filled out spreads over on Instagram. I also barely post there now, but I want to be more consistent and have more pictures and memories to look back on.
I got the idea for this spread from Plant Based Bride on YouTube. It's called a Kanban board, and I'll be using it to track at which point I am in the creation process for videos that I'm working on. I usually have multiple videos on the go at once, so this will be useful for keeping track of what needs to be done. This system is used to visually depict work at different stages throughout the process, and each box represents a stage, so I'll be using little sticky notes to write the name of a video and then move it from box to box as I work on it. For example, the sticky note will start in the brainstorm box, then move to script, film, etc. until it's complete and uploaded to YouTube. If you're a student, this could also be useful for planning out a study system. Categories could include attend lecture, review and summarize notes, make cue cards, etc. Next are my savings tracker and gift ideas. I plan to choose three big things that I want to save for this year, like a new laptop or trip, and then use the columns to track how much I've saved towards my goal. In terms of the gift ideas, I noticed while Christmas shopping that having a running list of ideas for my family and friends throughout the year would be super useful. You might get a hint or have a gift idea long before the holiday season, so it's good to have a place to keep track of those things. We're coming to the end now. Next is my urine picture spread. I wanted to go for Polaroids strewn across a desk and made good use of an old Starbucks card to keep the size and shape of the pictures consistent. I can't wait to fill this up with my favorite picture from each month so that I can look back at the best moments in 2021. The last spread is one I wanted to include, but I'm not quite sure how to lay it out yet. When did I last? If all goes well, I'll be getting a new car in the new year, so I'll use this to keep on top of maintenance, and I also plan to use it for tracking cleaning. And there you have it, my 2021 Bujo setup. I hope you were able to get some inspiration from these spreads. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll be posting my January setup very soon, and follow me on Instagram to see my spreads filled out, as well as weekly spreads that aren't included in my monthly setup videos. Thanks so much for watching, and Happy New Year!